Tennessee High School. Today is Thursday, November 19th. I'm Haley. And I'm Andrew, and you're watching Viking News. The 2016 Tennessee Governor's School applications are now available and can be accessed online. The Tennessee Governor's School includes 12 summer programs for gifted and talented rising 11th and 12th grade students. Applications should be submitted by counselors on behalf of the student prior to the stated deadline. Please see Ms. Skeens to submit your applications. Seniors who have applied for their Tennessee Promise may begin their community service. This is a change from the original January 1st date. Congratulations to Derek Graham on signing a national letter of intent to play baseball at Tusculum College. Now here's Katie and Morgan with your weather forecast. Good morning, Tennessee High School. I'm Morgan with your weather forecast. Today will be mostly sunny with a 10% chance of rain and a high of 63 degrees. Tonight will be mostly clear with a 10% chance of rain and a low of 38 degrees. Tomorrow will be sunny with a 0% chance of rain. Now back to the studio for your cafe watch. Welcome to my house, baby take control now. We can't even slow down, we don't have to go a while. Welcome to my house, play that music too loud. Show me what you do now, we don't have to go a while. The wrestling team has a tournament at Science Hill this Saturday at 8 a.m. The varsity boys basketball team plays in the Hall of Champions tournament against South Green at 12 on Saturday. The girls basketball team will play Morristown West away this Friday at 6 p.m. and then play at home against Union this Saturday at 3 and 4.30 p.m. In sports news, Oakland Raiders linebacker Alden Smith has been suspended for one year without pay under the NFL's substance abuse policy. The league said Tuesday in September, Smith, 25, pled not guilty to misdemeanor counts of hit and run, drunk driving, and vandalism, charges that stem from an alleged August 6th incident. In local news, a group says it promotes non-theism and defends the constitutional separation between religion and government, is asking the Unicoi County Board of Education to remove the Christian flag from its public meeting room. In a letter to the board, Freedom From Religion Foundation's attorney, Rebecca Margaret, objected to the display of the flag during school board meetings. She argues that the flag creates a perception of government endorsed Christianity and she wants the flag taken down. In national news, authorities are investigating two crime scenes and have a suspect in custody after six people were found dead in Anderson County, Texas. Police were called Sunday morning in a response to a possible shooting at a campsite and found two bodies in a traveler trailer. Police arrested a suspect, William Hudson, and charged him with one count of murder, setting bond at $2.5 million. That's all for Viking News. Ha, ha, ha.